Hello everyone, today I have the Pico Pro and will describe the general characteristics as well as some basic how-to procedures on how to connect your device with different inputs. Starting from the left is the micro HDMI port which is a crucial port for data transmission. Next is the micro USB port for charging the unit. This is for power only. The button with the battery depicted is the battery status button. If you press it, you can find out how much charge is left corresponding to the four blue LED lights on top of the Pico Pro. Four blue lights is a full charge. The final port is an audio 3.5 mm aux jack for additional options. The mode button switches you between Miracast, DLNA, and HDMI mode. The button on the far right is the power button. The top of the device is where the volume control is situated. The green minus lowers volume, while the green plus increases volume. I will now walk through how to connect via Miracast. When you turn on the Pico Pro, it defaults to setting up the Miracast connection. Once the connection is good to go, the screen will reflect ready to connect. When you see this, select your Miracast enabled Android device and swipe down from the top of the screen. Scroll through your quick menu until you find screen mirroring or the equivalent function. When you select screen mirroring, your mobile device will search for the Pico Pro. When it does, select the Pico Pro and it will set up the connection immediately. Next, we will walk through connecting via MHL. Every retail package comes with an MHL cable and a Samsung gender adapter. Keep in mind that not every Android device is MHL compatible. To determine MHL viability, you can check it through the MHL consortium online or you can contact Celadon directly to get an answer. The sequence is equally simple to connecting via Miracast. Make sure your Pico Pro is in HDMI mode where it is prompting you to insert an HDMI cable. Get your MHL compatible device and connect the MHL cable to both the Pico Pro and the mobile device. Please note that if you have a Samsung device, some require a pin adapter like the one included in the retail package. In this example, a Samsung Galaxy S5 would require an MHO adapter in order to connect via cable. Your screen should start mirroring immediately. Finally, if you have an Apple device such as an iPhone 6, you will need two separately purchased components. The first is an Apple Lightning adapter which connects into the iPhone and can receive an HDMI input. The second component is an HDMI A to D cable otherwise known as a micro HDMI male to HDMI male. If you want any recommendations or suggestions please contact the Cellulon team. Once more make sure you are in HDMI mode. Connect the Apple Lightning adapter to the iPhone connect the HDMI A to D cable to the Pico Pro. Connect the other end of the HDMI cable to the lightning adapter and you should see your screen mirrored almost immediately. If you have any further questions or inquiries, please feel free to contact support at cellulon.com.